Hello, welcome to Christiana Pranayama. I'm Christiana. Today's class is part two of the basic beginner's guide to yoga. So we're building on our last class uh, that's linked below, and we're going to be adding on three more aspects of yoga. So in the first class, I explained what yoga means, what it is, who it's for, and also how to do child's pose, uh, plank pose and its variations, and downward dog and some of its variations. So today we're going to be talking about dropping in and tuning in to the breath, which is something everyone does in the very beginning of a yoga class. We're also going to be adding in a dynamic flow called cat cow pose. Um, if you've seen anybody do yoga in any movies or anything, you've definitely seen people do this. And I'll show you how to add in your inhales and exhales to the yoga movement. So that is true yoga that's yoking the breath to the body movements. Um, for ujjayi breath, which is another kind of breath that you're probably going to be practicing in a lot of vinyasa classes, you can actually check out this video right here and that explains exactly how to do ujjayi breath. So we'll be meditating, we'll be doing cat-cow, and then we're also going to be trying corpse pose. This is going to be the final resting pose of most yoga classes. Uh, for some yoga classes, you'll actually be doing corpse pose in between your postures. Um, it's kind of a relaxation before you um, actively stress or strengthen the body. So let's go ahead and start in a comfortable cross-legged position. Um, you can either be sitting on the mat or if you have a bolster and you wanna sit on the bolster, you can do that. If your knees are pretty high up, then um, a bolster is going to be good for you. So I'm gonna go back down onto the mat. You're going to close down the eyes. Go ahead and let your hands fall on top of your knees or into your lap, wherever is comfortable for you, on top of your thighs even. And then you're just going to ground down into your sit bones. You're actually going to try and push those into the floor or the mat or the bolster, the pillow, whatever you're on. So try and push those pelvic bones into the floor. Feel your knees get heavy. Let go of anything that you can on the inner thighs. Go ahead and bring your uh, shoulders up to your ears. Breathe in. Exhale, roll your shoulders down your back. And then you're going to loosen your neck just a little bit. You don't have to make any jerky movements or sudden movements, nothing extreme, but just kind of let it bobble on top of that spine. Imagine that you're sitting in a shallow pool with only your head floating on top of it. The water is rising just slightly. So you're just bringing your head just above water, pulling that spine up towards the ceiling. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Keep grounding down through the sit bones. Start to notice your breath, your inhales, how cool they feel coming into your body. And then relax something with your exhales. Inhale, feel your sit bones ground down deeper into the floor. Exhale, relax your legs. One more inhale, ground down and bring the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Exhale, flutter open the eyes. So that is tuning into the body. Very simple way of just dropping into your practice. The next thing we're going to do is called cat cow. So come onto your hands and knees so that you're facing the front of your mat. Your wrists are going to be lined up directly underneath your shoulders and then your knees are going to be directly under your hips. 
Go ahead and push down into your knuckles, into your palm knuckles, and then all the way into those fingers as well. You can scoop those elbow pits, the, uh, the inside of your elbows, forward so that they're shining forward like headlights. Go ahead and firm up the elbows a little bit, and then drop your belly, lift your tailbone up, and look up. Then you can breathe in here, try and stretch the belly out. This is called cow pose. And then you're going to exhale and round the back, try and bring that tailbone that's been pointing up back down, and you're going to bring the crown of your head down so that it points to the mat. Okay, let's try that again. Drop the belly, look up, lift the tailbone, inhale, exhale, round the spine, bring the tailbone down, bring the crown of your head down, and still keep your elbow pits shining forward, push into your wrists, push into your knees. Exhale all the way. This is called cat. And then inhale, drop the belly. Look up. Tailbone up. Cat pose around the spine. Exhale. Two more. Drop the belly. Inhale, look up. Exhale around the spine. Crown to the mat. One more. Drop the belly. Inhale, look up. Tailbone up. Exhale, round the spine. Head falls to the floor. Tailbone back down. So that is called cat cow. And you've also been combining your breath with it. So that's yoga. That's basically yoga. And then the very last pose that we're going to do today is called corpse pose. So you don't have to get into it in any way in particular. You're just going to make sure you have enough space. Move any bolsters or blankets, straps, blocks, anything you got. Move it out of the way. And then you're going to come lay down on your back. All right. I like to bring my feet up first and then kind of tuck that tailbone in that same motion that you were doing in cat when you rounded your back you're going to just bring that tailbone up and then slowly let those bottom vertebrae fall down onto the mat you get just a little extra space in that lower back and then you'll straighten your legs out you'll want your feet about a foot and a half or two feet apart uh, your heels on the outside of your mat um, or towards the edges of your mat, I mean, with your feet splayed outwards. And then you're going to also push your shoulder blades together like you got a little pencil so that your chest opens up. And just relax that. <sighs> and then open your arms up so that they're alongside your body, but they're not you know, not too close in, just nice and relaxed. Palm facing up toward the ceiling in an act of reception, receiving, gratitude, and letting go. And then you're gonna shut down the eyes and you can also shake your head side to side. This should help you find a little extra space in your neck. And then you're going to just scan down from the top of your head down to your toes as slowly as possible, relaxing everything you can as you find it, as your attention falls on it. So you'll relax your forehead, your eyebrows, the sockets around your eyes, your nose, your cheeks, your ears, sides of your neck, the nape of your neck. Your shoulders, your collarbones, your sternum, your pec, 
your solar plexus, your stomach, your abs, the muscles around your belly button, your lower abs, your groin, your glutes, your lower back, your middle back, your upper back, shoulders, triceps, your forearms, your palms, your thumbs, index finger, middle finger, ring finger and pinky. Relax your right hip, relax your left hip. Relax your thighs. Relax your knees. Relax your calves, your ankles, your heels, the arch of your foot, your big toe, middle toe, index toe, ring finger toe, and pinky. If you catch your mind wandering, having thoughts, just witness them, but don't attach. Watch them float away. This is Shavasana. You can stay here as long as you'd like. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I come out with new videos every Monday. And it really helps me out if you like this video. At no cost to you. Thank you and namaste.